Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pine TV. I'm Hadassah Serka. Please stand for a Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Monday, October 7th, 2024. Now we transition to our learning about a famous Hispanic figure. Take it away, Catherine. Como on the Patriots. Today in Hispanic Heritage, we'll talk about Carolina Navarro, or better known as Carol G. Carol G is a Colombian singer and songwriter. Some reasons why she is influential is because she was the first Latin woman to reach number one globally with the album in Spanish. Also, she was the first ever Latin woman to get a Grammy for Best Urban Music. People tend to like her and her music so much because of her very vibrant persona. One interesting fact about her is that she has four animals. A pig, two dogs, and a parent. I hope one day I could be as famous as her. Now see what our lunch would be like with Zarmel. Thank you, Catherine. Hey, Patriots. Today's tasty lunch is chicken tenders, chicken cheese deluxe hoagie, potato wedges, cucumber, garden side salad, mandarin oranges, and yanchi tamal. Tomorrow breakfast is cinnamon, frosted cornflakes, graham crackers, fresh oranges, and 100% apple juice. Students, please keep on a lunch can change at any time and to always just know if you're going to be sleeping for lunch today. Bon appetit. Let's head back with the dasa. Thank you, Zermel. That sounds extravagant. Today's inside out theme outfit colors for today will be the color of joy, yellow. I can't wait to see your joyous colors. And tomorrow's theme is to wear purple to express ennui, which if you didn't know is a mixture of boredom and tiredness. I wonder what you come up with. Patriots, make sure to spit out any gum that you have before entering the building. And phones, make sure they're off and in your bags at all times. Also, wear only a school jacket or sweater. Calling all Patriot of the Month students, Thursday, October 10th will be your actual ceremony. Make sure that you look your best because no hurricane can ruin your moment. Spooky season's here, which means the Fall Festival is on the way. The Fall Festival is a time to get together with friends, dress up, and have fun playing games for candy walking through the famous haunted hallway and doing raffles. It will be from 9 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. It will be on Saturday, October 26th. The pre-sale tickets started on September 27th. Calling all K-5 Patriots. Soccer season is coming in hot, so for anyone interested to sign up, listen in. The cost to get in will be $100 and the season will be from November 30th to December 21st. Isn't that exciting? Guys, beware because the end of the challenge is this Friday, so make sure to do the lessons if you haven't. So here's what will happen. K-4th through will have waffles and dress down if they do 25 Imagine Math and Core 5 lessons. And 5th through 8th will have a Sunday party with dress down for 25 Imagine Math and already reading. Best of all, the top three users will join in on the fun. Make sure to complete them. Okay, sports fans, let's go revisit last Wednesday's game with our reporter, Noah. Welcome back, Patriots. On Wednesday, our boys like football made a comeback against Cooper City. We won the game 21 to 7. Our MVP was number four, Brian Soros, who scored four touchdowns for us. As the game continued, our cheer and dance squad was giving us good luck. <laughs> Cheering on us the whole way. Not to mention we kept taking flags and scoring goals. Now let's go to Samar to interview our MVP. How do you feel about winning the game right now? I'm good, I feel good, I'm happy for my team. Yeah. yeah. I saw the school moves you're doing. How do you feel about that? You um, that? really from my friends. Just learning how to do back flip. You feel the school for your friends? Yeah. You happy for your team? Of course. Yeah. We came in here and we did everything we could. And we beat them. Thank you very hey, much. We get them boys, BTA. BTA, BTA! BTA! Thunder's Day's Patriots. Today's weather is 84 degrees Fahrenheit with thunderstorms. In other weather news, while we are still getting over being hit by Hurricane Aline, Taiwan is getting hit by a typhoon named Kraken. 
Here's what Typhoon Kraken brought to Kyle Sung Thursday after making landfall. Storms like these happen when winds blow into areas of the ocean where water is warm. These winds collect moisture and rise while colder air moves in below. This creates pressure which causes the winds to move very quickly. The winds rotate or spin around the center called an eye. Fascinating, but I hope they're alright. Now let's wish our Patriots happy birthday with Giselle. Thank you, Samara. Today's birthday boys and girls are David Nguyen and Madison Stevens. Happy birthday, now let's go back to Harasa. Thank you, Giselle. Patriots, here are Pat's expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Carter, Ms. St. Louis, Ms. Cavalita, Ms. Arnold, Ms. Eugene, and Ms. Nelson for getting the correct answer to Friday's daily challenge, which was, how many bones do sharks have? The correct answer was none. Now for today's daily challenge. In daily challenge! In what movie will you find characters who are looking for a brain, a heart, and courage? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a mythical Monday. Have a great day!